first time I saw Ross's work was in about 2000. I had just started DNA magazine at the time. And so I was on the lookout for a new and interesting artist in Australia. And I saw his work and I immediately knew that my audience, the gay male audience, would love his work. So I actually asked him to paint um, a cover for us and he did. He painted um, a lifesaver in front of a big stack of cars and it was on the cover of issue 12 of DNA. That was, that was it, a wonderful moment, yeah. Now, uh, the first thing to be said is that Ross Watson is brilliant. There's an external force that's coming through him uh, into various periods uh, of his art. Um, like Picasso, he's sort of going from one period to another, and if you've uh, been watching Ross's work, you see how the periods are evolving. Ross went through a, a very strong period of which this uh, portrait of Stephen Fry is an example, where uh, a wonderful uh, painting by Vermeer was uh, combined with a wonderful portrait of Stephen Fry. And then came the soldiers, storming and marching into Ross's imagination. And uh, some of them made multiple appearances uh, in which uh, they were all dressed in magnificent uniforms. I began to think that Ross must have something, a, a thing for uniforms. And some of them are up on the wall there, but that was a wonderful period uh, where Ross was getting a bit carried away with the imperial ethos uh, of British soldiers uh, all dressed up to the nines. And then comes uh, the surface. Uh, and this is this exhibition, which uh, is being shown today. Um, and um, it's true, as Stephen has said, I said to Ross, Ross, if nudity was all right for Michelangelo on the, on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, it's okay for Ross Watson from Brisbane. And uh, he's, he's beginning to get used to the idea. So there it is. Uh, it's a wonderful new era of Ross. He's edging ever so, ever so cautiously. Uh, in a direction, and who knows where this may end up. <laughs> uh, I would encourage you to search for your inner boldness, <laughs> but not too much, otherwise <laughs> the others won't be uh, willing to, uh, to show them. Uh, and I thank everybody for coming, and I declare this Sydney exhibition uh, of uh, Coast Surfers uh, duly, officially, and very properly, or improperly, <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, Michael and Johan for joining us today and for yet another very inspiring and uh, uh, wonderful speech, Michael. And thank you to uh, everybody uh, who's uh, uh, supporting us today to raise funds for uh, the Pinnacle Foundation.